I guess in advance I bet on double night haunt, but <laughs> let's see. Let's see. I would like to see orcs rush uh, Realmstone on Zinch's side and then rush Slugoth. Like, don't even build units. Maybe build one unit. So, here we go. Yeah, I would like to see that. Let's see if they have cooked something up. Who are we gonna spec? I'm just okay, okay, okay. So I'm watching Adila and Astria. Alright, I'll watch the other two for upgrades. I haven't seen any upgrades start yet, so it looks like they're skipping Magister range and skipping Killaboss health so far. Early VP dominance here. Okay, Ingathel's getting range and damage for the Magister. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. To kite. Also, Inga's doing his usual of two Acolytes and a Magister, and that's it. Oh, they're quite aggressive on both lanes. Yeah, with the heroes. Yeah. Oh, the shield boys have to Did go. they use any ability? I didn't see the left fight. Nope. I wasn't also also not watching the entire time, but there was no reason. There was a charge on the right, that's all. Charge is okay, it's only command. Yeah. Oh my god, if you see these Nighthaunt beasts, the Craven Guard gathering up. It so looks nothing nothing's wiped so far, right? Yeah, just VP lead. Yeah. A little VP lead. In Inga still just with um, two acolytes and a magister, so he got the bastion quickly. I like this. Zinch quick bastion. I think he'll have to build horrors to defend it, but we'll see. No. Yeah. I think Bada is rushing tier two. Yeah, I like this. They're doing kind of what I'd want, apart from the acolyte. Mm -hmm. But if the Acolyte back caps, it's not too bad. Like, if you're going to take the approach of not even fighting Night Haunt and just trying to decap their Bastion and their points. Cool. Fight on the right. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Oh, and they conquer oh, the Oh, Night Haunt have a whole bunch of units behind them. So they're not in the fight right now, but they're going to oh. have a flank. Oh, yeah, they're going to have a flank. I think this is still, like, not that bad for um, Orc Zinch, because. Yeah, sure, they're gonna have to retreat, but they were gonna lose the fight anyway. Oh, dead Magister. Yeah, the gift is inches a bit of a waste, I think. No. Yeah. So, Estrella can build one more unit, but other than that, they're both at max cap over for Night Haunt. Oh, oh. Inga just lost literally everything. He's down to zero population. Oh no. Ada has two unit wipes as well. That's not a good start. These units behind are wiping like everything oh on the right. Oh my god, yeah, that's quite decisive already. Yeah, Top 3, you are right. Yeah, I, this is too much, I think. I think Night Haunt just rolled them from here. There's yeah, a. Top, top 3, a list yeah, the, the Acolytes were it. like a waste. Yeah, yeah I, I think Paddy? the Acolytes mm -hmm. are a waste if you're not gonna decap. If you're gonna fight, I think they're a waste against this many Craven Thrones. Yeah, the victory point control is real. That part's not like so bad. There's a Ballista out for Bada, that's like the main hope to defend their Bastion. I think he needs a Slogoth to be able to take a VP though. He can't afford it on Realmstone yet. Soon. Alright, Bada's starting a Slogoth. Once that's out, they can take a VP. Yeah, so now they're gathering up to take down that Ramstone. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this Nighthorn force. There's a Ballista shooting at least. Like, I don't think it can get a good angle for Skewered, but it could get like three units. 
Imagine Spectral Bolt were allowed. <laughs> <laughs> but look, There's a slug out on the way. Yeah. The Bastion might die, but that's not the end. Like, it's not game over if the Bastion dies. But Inga had to replace a lot. Yeah, yeah. The Hars can't heal too. Oh my god. Alright. So Inga can afford to replace the Bastion like almost immediately, like once once the Slogoth gets in. And if they do that, I don't think it's GG yet. They're at a big disadvantage, but you're right, they are not it's not GG yet. So There's four unit wipes for Nighthaunt as well. On them or for them? Like they lost they lost four units. Ah nice, okay. What's a Dilla building? There's a purple unit, I don't know what it is. But look, Saddam and Inga are down to 350 already. Yeah, and I think as long as they stabilize at 150. If they can take two VPs at 150 tickets, I think they can win from there. Mm -hmm. And Bad is good at like late game works, like he knows what's strong. <laughs> Have they replaced their Ramstone? I cannot see it now. No, I would like to see them replace it, but they haven't yet. Because Bad is going to starve on Realmstone and his, his tier 3 will be delayed. Oh, they're getting it now. It's a little bit late. Nice. But still... Inga went tier 2 instead of getting the Bastion. I think the other order would have been better, but it's still pretty good. Lord, Lord Gloom fighting the Slogoth. Oh no, another squad wipe for Saddam. Oh, Bada built a Bastion as well, so that's gonna delay his tier 3 a little bit. Hey, Gloam is actually not that terrible against the Slogoth. <laughs> <laughs> what does Scene Chef? Uh, hard. Most of them are wounded too. One healthy unit of Hars. He is tier 2, he's building Zangors. Um, Bada doesn't have any upgrades at all, but he's getting the Slogoth upgrade in 20 seconds. Okay. Adila has the two standard tier 1 upgrades. Estrella, Estrella doesn't have Hunters of Champions, the Craven Throne upgrade for range and damage to heroes. That's huge. Okay. Ah, okay, Zangor's coming to protect, plus the Ballista in the back. That, that looks good, actually. Yeah, they have to retreat. I mean, Saddam lost some uh, shield boys. Yeah. And Inga lost plenty of squads in the beginning. But I think it yeah, was he misleading. Lost his two acts, right? Yeah, he wasn't uh, on, on six. Pop. Yeah, he went down to zero. He he went up to three, mm -hmm. getting one acolyte, and then he uh, went down to he, zero. But he wasn't dropping from six, I think. I'm, on, I'm not sure. Maybe you have noticed. What oh. do you mean? I mean, he uh, went for that early realm stone. He was not on pop six at the moment. Oh yeah, he, he, the realm, he just built so. one unit of acolytes. Then he lost literally everything. Then he built the bastion at zero population. And then Horus, and then, he, yeah. then he got hard. Yeah. I think he would have been better off not getting the acolyte, but fine. Yeah. Horus. Better off not fighting anyway. Like fighting, they just melt. I'm not giving up on um, Inga and Bada here. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. We have Hex Wrath for Night Haunt. Bada, I think Bada maybe... can afford tier 3 and he's not getting it. That's that's out of character. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect Bada to get tier 3 like ASAP. Yeah, totally. Do you need 600? Is uh, it 600 in... or 500? Uh, 600 or... command. Okay, he can afford it now. So last game... Um, Adila and Inukrua went for Banshees on one player and Hexwrath on the other player, but here they see yeah. now to go both on Hexwrath. I think that's correct, because they're up against Slugots and Zangors. So it's all shields. Oh, Spectral Bolts. Yeah, it's huge. It's getting a lot of units. So, Estrella still doesn't have the range upgrade for his Craven Throne Guard. He's the one on the right. Alright. So one can tech a bit earlier then. 
Yeah, but this looks like game. Yes. Super cap. Seven EVPs. Yeah, okay, I thought it would be closer. <laughs> but they, they lost so much straight at the very start, so I've not... Yeah. I, I think Double Night Hunt will win all the games, but I'm not totally giving up on them just yet. Um, I don't think Acolytes can fight into, like, 12 units of Craven Throne Guard. They'll just melt. So yeah, it's a game. But yeah. remember, in this game, like... Inga lost literally everything, and Bada lost two squads in the very first fight. And that made it less close. Yeah. So, I think we need to ban Craven Guard. <laughs> yeah. I don't like. I don't hate Inga buying the acolyte, but like, if you're gonna get it, I think you send like one to each edge of the map, and you look to just back cap the enemy bastions. I yeah. don't think you can fight. So maybe in this game, Inga then goes for horrors instead. Let's see. Yeah. From what I know, he uh, is also adapting. And um, it's four four. You can join. Oh, cool. I also think they'd be better off taking the fight in their own side of the map instead of in the middle, because it takes longer to retreat for the enemy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because generally, if you're going to take a fight with a bunch of horrors, you're not even going to retreat. So you might as well take it as close to your bastion as you can. So I think they they negotiating the map, I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> they say uh, they talk about best of three or best of five. I mean, if we go with how long the games are lasting at the moment, we could go with best of five. <laughs> yeah. How long was that? Ten minutes. Um, not sure. Can't remember. Something like that. I wonder if um, Adela and Estrella will do one game without being double night home. Doesn't look like it yet. And I'm curious what Top 3 and Oscar will do. I mean... They know the only counter is to play better double night haunt. <laughs> I think with one night haunt you can win against them, like I have anyway. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Like I've beaten better with just one night haunt. Ah, you okay. don't necessarily need to. I would think um, Control and Oscar will start off playing weak factions, and if they win, they play whatever. If they lose. Then they probably or they, make or they combine, stuff. maybe they combine as in like night haunt and orcs or something. And if that doesn't work, then double night haunt. <laughs> well, if I know control, he'd want to win a mirror first, like Zinch orcs, and then <laughs> if they'd lose, uh, then probably bring out night haunt. Or everyone is shitting their pants already, and they all go night hunt. <laughs> oh, I dropped from the session, somehow. Maybe they remake? Yeah. I think uh, Oscar prefers playing orcs. I think he enjoys orcs more, so... It's more likely to play that. I don't see Control and Oscar losing, to be honest. I don't think anyone can force them to play night hunt. Yeah. Or at least let's, not the teams that exist. Let, let's keep this thesis for the next one then. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more excited. I'm not giving up on um, Bada and Inga just yet. Yeah, yeah, true, true. We sh it's bad manners now. Um, <laughs> totally, they have a chance. So, I mean, they have to play like perfect <laughs> now. And it's it, possible. 
I don't know if it is. Against Double Night Haunt, I don't even know if it is. They played pretty well into me and Vibrid, and like it wasn't close. Double Night Haunt is <laughs> really strong. Yeah. I mean, it really comes down to like detail. The game is up four four, so you can join. Oh, I'm in. Yeah, I just joined. Yeah, so if Ingo goes for horror first, then I think that's uh, the better opening, as you pointed out earlier. Maybe even Bastion first and then horrors. Just without the Acolyte. Yeah. Because if you go horrors first, you're fighting horrors against Craven Throne and your horrors are dying, and you never really get an opportunity to build a Bastion. At least until a Slogoth is out. If there's any map where you can cap enough Realmstone to get a Slogoth, it's this one. So, mm -hmm. there's some hope. Is Temple in the map pool for this tournament? It, it is, is in right? pool, yeah, yeah. But I think no one will, would choose that. <laughs> it's an easier one to defend your Bastion on. For Orcs. Mm. That's true, actually, they could have picked this map, yeah. But this map here is pipey, so it also gives them the chance to scout before. Yeah, they have more stuff they can cap to afford their Slogoth rush. Okay, um, Inga is opening Acolyte again. Oh no. There's a Chain Rasp for Adila. And Bolt Boy, I think, for Bata, yeah. Bada gets Bolt Boy into Good Ripper. Inga's getting horrors. Alright, gonna check upgrades. Oh yeah, Estrella forgot the Craven Throne upgrade last time, or skipped it. Mm, yeah, maybe he uh, intentionally skipped. <laughs> He's getting stolen hours. And Adila's getting the range on Craven Throne Guard. Uh, no Magister range upgrade this time. At least not yet. So they're playing differently. Inga went up to 6 population this time with 4 hearts. Mm -hmm. So it's two Acolytes and three Horrors then. Yeah. As far as I know, he doesn't get Spectral Bolts, so I don't really understand why the second Acolyte, but... To each their oh, own. that hero. Uh, uh, no, no, it wasn't hero. Badass have five pop. Did he lose a unit, or is he just sitting at five? Knowing him, he's probably sitting at five. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I like Inga's color scheme. The blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they all look the same. The, yeah. um, the, the horrors all look the same. Oh, there was a squad wipe. Yeah, both Night Haunts are sitting at 7 population, but they can both go to 8. Uh, Acolyte's wiped for Inga. Yeah, uh, uh. He still doesn't have the range for Magister. Maybe he's skipping it for quicker Zangors. No upgrades for Inga or Bada. Oh, Gut Troopers in the sen center here of Craven Guards. Getting kited around. <laughs> Giving up. Adila and Estrella both got their tier 1 upgrades, both of them. The range and the oh. stolen hours. Oh, dead Gut Troopers. Oh no. Mm. 
no Bastion yet for anybody. It's like 337. Adela can afford one. I mean, what really is unfortunate, both teams didn't have the chance Actually, to warm up before. One thing's so pretty big. There's a stealthed Bolt Boys waiting at a Bastion location. Ah, I see. Um, but it's the opposite side to the player that can afford the Bastion. But let's so, see who's gonna build it. Yeah, the Bastion goes on the opposite side, so it's not gonna get sniped. So now Inga started liking hor mess messing horrors. <laughs> Until he gets Spectral bolted, because they're all grouped up, so Spectral Bolts will Just rip bounce. them apart. Bounce! Yeah. Yeah, the, the Bastion's gonna finish for Night Hunt, so. Yeah. Still no Bastion for Bada and Inga. Bada's so tier 2. Uh huh, they, they try to get a 45 from the map control. Yeah, Bada has a Slogoth out, so it would be nice to see a Bastion for their team. Wait, Bada's killer boss is at Inga's base. It must have been when he was going tier 2. Couldn't heal. Holy crap, man. That stolen Aorus is crazy. Yeah, Zinch's army's dead. Well, he has Zangors now. Alright, the Slogoth's here. Oh, I truly wish this could end up 1-1. One, one. There's still no Bastion for Inga and Bada. Do they have so, resources for that? Not really. Not really, they're yeah, buying Zangors right now. Inga can soon. Yeah. I'd prefer to see Inga buy it because Orc resources can go into tier 3. Yeah, Inga should build on Saddam's side. Yeah, I agree. Oh no, there's a dead Slogoth. Oh, oh big. how did that really happen? <laughs> ah, it was the... <laughs> the stolen arms. Oh yeah. my god. So if Bada has no upgrades at all, Inga has no upgrades either. Adila, just the tier 1 upgrades, two of them. And same for Estrella. The Bolt Boys are still waiting for a Bastion Snipe. <laughs> at Estrella's location. Oh, uh, he could go and scout the other side now. <laughs> it's too late, but it's they can't too kill late. it anyway. Uh, There's a Bastion being built by Bada, I think. Yeah. So it's two Bastions to one right now. Well, building. What do, what, 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 I'm gonna what bet on Orcs to win this game, by the way. There's a chance. I mean, look at the victory points, right? Yeah, exactly. This might be one of the cases where the map actually makes a difference. There's a Slogoth at the place where Estrella would build a Bastion, so that might delay a second Bastion oh. for Night Yeah, but now the Slogoth is needed to defend. Yeah, yeah, I don't really agree Oh, but there's Zangros. Zangros relaxing. Now he noticed, yeah, yeah okay. Saddam gave him a fine. sign. I think um, Zine Sharks are fine. Totally fine. Yeah, 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 they can recover from that. The killer yeah, boss no. at the VP on the left might die. Yeah. He's getting shot by Craventhrone. Yeah, yeah, he has to retreat immediately. Now it's dead killer boss. Bada got a lot of Goat Rippers, I haven't seen them do that before. He's got three of them. They imagine being liberators. I'm a liberator now! <laughs> Can you imagine orcs with liberators? Oh my god. <laughs> they, they just uh, take the tier a Tier 1 Slogoth and the Tier 2 Slogoth. <laughs> they, they just get a poster from Games Workshop with liberators on it and then they hide behind the picture. <laughs> behind the poster. Like, 
I would be really comfortable from Orc's position from here. I mean, if they're not losing sloppily some key squads, there definitely is a chance. A top three. And, and didn't they lose a slug out earlier too? Uh, yeah, to Grom. Grom. Grom guy. Yeah. Oh, and the shield boys are also getting trashed here. Yeah, the bolt boys on the right need to retreat. Okay, there. Ah, it's, so it's, it's evil that the Hex Wrath are countering, basically countering the Slogoth. Yeah, yeah, Night Haunt tier oh, 2 is strong as well. Triple, triple Hex Wrath here. Yeah, yeah Slogoth just <laughs> retreating here. There's three wounded Zangor units that left Inga's base. Huh. Yeah, but they are basically locked there and cannot support Saddam now. Oh. Yeah, I would have preferred to see them heal. But... Oh. As Logoth needs one minute to heal up from zero to hundred percent at base. Mm -hmm. Or you just build a new one and it'll be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, net, 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 net. Let's see if that Logoth can compete here. Oh, it would be so um, cool if they if if he can save the mine. Lada has but venom, no. by the way, so he's oh, ripping nice. through these these um, Graven's oh, rock. Oh, look oh at the Bastion's gonna die, or it's really yeah. low. Oh, it's it's so unlucky. Yeah. No, it was just one hit that was needed. Yeah. Oh my god. I think if who is it? I think if Adila were to go into Inga's base and spectral bolts these Zangors, he'd wipe them all. Mm-hmm. But I think he's just gonna kill the Bastion instead. Maybe I called it for orcs too soon. <laughs> yeah, look, we have tier these Zangors three. Need to we, heal. we have. Do we have venom bolts? Yeah, yeah, we do. Okay, so now it's and time, time Inga to can shine. afford a new Bastion as well. Like Inga could build a Bastion on Bada's side right now. But oh, the Bastion is still alive. Good. Oh, yeah. this, this, oh, so, no, this is, oh, nice, they managed, nice, cool. so from here, it's possible, there's from a here, chance. I think Bada should go tier 4, and Inga should build a Bastion on Bada's side, yeah. Bada's going tier 4, that's nice, I think Orcs win, they wretch a base and win. <laughs> How much is the, the, the wretch, 225 or something, right? 250, I think. 250, okay. There's a Lord Gloam sneaking to Bada's Bastion location, but there's no Bastion there right now. But if it were to build, it might get sniped. Yeah, one Zango should retreat just to heal up already. Yeah. Oh, look, Saddam, Saddam is uh, changing the side now. He's going on to the left side. Yeah, his Bastion's on that side, I guess. But Lord Gloam is still sneaking around to cap a VP. He, if he gets to the Bastion quickly, he could kill it too. Oh, yeah, look Inga at this built a heal Bastion. Top, top right side, look at this uh, ballsy Bolt Boy here. Yeah, bolt Boy, yeah. It's super balls. I think it's better to spread out the Bolt Boys, because I don't think the Venom stacks. Oh, Abada has Wretch now. These sneaky Bolt Boys are probably to get vision for Wretch. I would guess. I'm curious. Like Bada has a lot of old boys, but oh they're all man. clumped up. Look, and, 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 and Inga is going for healing bastion, so he can yeah. get his Zangors up to 100% HP quite easily. They were a bit slow to recap their bastion with the Realmstone back to 100. Oh, it's at 99. It needs to be at 100. You get plus one. Oh, look. Or, oh, oh, squad wipe. More than one. <laughs> this uh, Realmstone Bastion is not healing. Is that because it's not at a hundred percent? I think they regen if they're at a hundred percent. You mean they only regen at hundred? I don't see um, Inga's Realmstone Bastion regen. It's still at like one HP. For me. Ah. How about you? Yeah. I think that's, if it's at a hundred percent, it heals. That, it's about weird. to get to hundred. 
So now it should heal. Yeah, now it's regening. Ah, they okay, really okay. should have recapped it to 100 quicker. <laughs> oh, you see top left side, uh, Realmstone? Yeah, there's Ratch in the base, by the way. Uh, there's oh, Ratch yeah, and they're, in... tier f they're tier 4 already. Uh, yeah. Nighthaunt is also Adilla. tier 4. You see the global there on the yeah. left. Adilla has Ratch in his base. Or no, on his Realmstone point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Zangors. Nice, man. Crazy, crazy. Like, Inga and Bada still have 300 victory tickets left. This seems pretty comfortable from here. Mm hmm. I would like to see a second Realmstone Bastion, or at least tier 2 Realmstone Bastion. At least the wretch is not decapping points. <laughs> Yeah, but once you cap with the wretch, it's really hard for them to recap. Mm -hmm. He could he could move the tentacles to be closer to the choke points. Like you ah, can move the tentacles within can... the pit. Ah, I didn't know. Yeah, and if they're nearer to the choke points, it would be really annoying for um, Adilla. Look, the bold boys' damage on the fucking walker, the mongol. Yeah. On anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> Uh, for upgrades, Inga has the Zangor upgrade and his Realmstone Bastion can shoot. Bada uh, has just Venom. He doesn't even have range for his Bolt Boys. At, oh no, he does. It, just a bug on the thing. So yeah, he only has the Bolt Boy upgrades, but he has both. Oh look, left side looks... ...nasty. Wait, is th was there on the left side, was there a dead Minotaur? Yeah, I think uh, uh, Inga lost a Minotaur. He had oh, two, that's... and now he has one. I think they'll still win, but yeah, that's, that's kind of big. Uh, who is this? Adilla has Phantasmal Advance and all the Craven Throne upgrades. Estrella, same thing. Um, Phantasmal mm -hmm. Advance. But he doesn't have the increased health for Craven Throne Guard. Okay, maybe. Okay. I don't know if it makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of late now. It oh, might nice. still, like, Craven Throne are the only bow unit for Night Hunt in total. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I true. think I think Inga forgot about one of his units of Zangors. They're, like, behind his base and they've been standing there idle for a while. Look top right side. Like... The Trogoth, yeah. The Trogoth can counter... The Mongol directly, yeah. and the Slogan is just the... lurking there. I think he's lurking there for infantry to show up. Oh, I think and the break a harness is him. going to hurt that bastion a lot. Yeah, it is. I would have liked to see him tie up the Mongol with the Slogoth so that the Trogoth can kill the bastion first. But this is still good. He's going to get it. Oh, look top left side. Yeah, Inge is. I don't know, where's the second trauma truck? Ah, he, he just finished another one. one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, so he has, he has 900 now. command for a long time. Like, I'd like to see the Realmstone Bastion upgraded to tier 2. Yeah, true. They... Would that bad a wretch again? Just big. Yeah. Ooh, Morngol got a juicy jump. He hit 4 yeah, units. Yeah, I just saw that. I just clicked there. <laughs> I really think Bada should spread out his um, Bolt Boys more, but I, he's playing on PlayStation, so I don't know how hard that would be. Two Morngulls on the heal bastion, by the way. I'm trying to kill it. Oh, it's this half is health. nasty. Yeah, they're gonna get tied but, up into melee. Yeah, they're tie not up get melee it. and then Minotaur. Yeah, yeah. The Minotaur I... could have tied one up into melee sooner, just to increase the odds it survives. One of them is still not in melee, so... Yeah, he wants to pass and take the victory point. Oh no! He's not tying up! Our... Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't how... tied up. Yeah, oh, but the Mongol died for, died for it. Do oh, Mongol attacks right. do area of effect? Um... Could be that they have, like, as in with the melee attack, yeah, could be. Yeah, because it feels like Slogoth's melee attack is AoE, 
Because, like, sometimes I hit units beside a Bastion and it looks like it's damaging the Bastion, too. Ah, uh, I didn't record this game. I mean, I'm streaming, but I, I didn't record this game. Shit. This was one of the best games so far. Uh, so I have to... Ah, uh, anyways. Will you have the Twitch VOD? Yeah, yeah, I will have, so I can get this game. A new heal bastion replacement. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and Inga put his brownstone bastion up to tier two. So nice. Started. Okay. Was there a second red? Here. I've only uh, seen yeah, one red. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's the second one. Where is it? Top Where right. It oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. I did see it. So the victory tickets are equal, but I think Orc Zinch of the stronger late game. The Mongol in the back line is a bit annoying. Yeah, it's there. about to wipe both points. Yeah. But easy replacement, 140 command. Yeah. Yeah, Inge is now healing his Zengros, which is exactly what he needed to do. Estrella uh, has five units. Shame, what do you mean? Her. Uh, sorry, Perry, what did you say? Estrella still has five units of Craven Throne Guard and they still don't have the upgrade. Okay. For health. Yeah, maybe it's not worth it, I don't know. So the Trogoth is retreating. One of the two. And he heals, um, I think, 130 or 150. Oh yeah, I have it. Yeah, yeah. I have the ward from the stream, but I will. Uh, I wanted to have the record of it with better quality. Oh, the truck is really low on the right. Oh yeah. Okay, he oh, sees yeah. it. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, left side, masked Craven Guard. Uh, I think Ogroid ability chunks them, like the AOE. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's two Ogroids. I think they're fine. Yeah, yeah, and the, the third one is going to, yeah. I don't know, center. Yeah, there's two Trogoths for better, three Trogoths for better. Like, oh, isn't he better off nasty. getting oh. a Slogoth? Yeah, I would also go for another Slogoth to net stuff yeah. and then Even to... one Ballista. Yeah. yeah. And hey, I don't Gamer. see his um, Nash mm -hmm. Tooth War Boss, or Kill Boss. Just lots of Trogoths. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he just didn't want to replace it because of the hero snipe. Yeah, but, but don't have to, I think don't it's have worth all part of the plan. Ooh, wait, Ooh. Bada doesn't have his Slugoth upgrade. Oh, it's Minotaur dying on the right side. That I think he just... He just didn't notice it. That's really sometimes um, devastating if you split your forces to your teammate and then you forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Havid, I really hope for that, man. It looks it looks good. There's two heal bastions for Inga. That's, uh, that's unusual. Just, like, I don't know about that one. Just to be safe, you know? Like when you go Maybe. with... Oh, that's <laughs> GG, I think. Huh? Yeah. It's like going with public transport and you buy two tickets just in order to be like really safe, right? <laughs> so that's There's how you get two, on, two healing bastions. Nighthawk Global on a Slugger. Ah, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, just to know. prevent uh, the Trogoth moving further in. Two Trogoths on the left and two Trogoths on the right. I think, well, the game's over very soon. Yeah, it is, it is. Oh, Harvid, you're still not over your loss. Oh, I'm sorry. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. <laughs> one, one. I'm pretty certain they're going for a cigarette break, and this is the same thing I'm gonna do now, but before that I'm going to pee. <laughs> so... Oh, 1-1. One, one. 
perfect. Uh, I mean, I absolutely enjoy this. I'm not sure so if they if they're playing. Wait, I will ask them if they take a break. So what's the last map? Is there a rule in place, or who gets to pick? Um, loser, loser pick. Now don't let me forget to record again. <laughs> Astra has some problems to join, it seems. Um. Ah, the last game was just amazing, man. Yeah. It was interesting because um, Bada and Inga had a really late first Bastion, but still did fine. There's a lot to cap on that map. Like, there's a lot of Realmstone that can be capped. I think Adila and Estrella sat on seven population each as well, which made it slightly less oppressive. Oh, I got kicked out of the lobby again, you too? Yeah, I think he's just re-hosting it to get the final player, Australia. Ah, Australia is smoking, so he's gonna be a little well. Good thing you rushed Zulu. What do you mean? Like as in already playing the tournament game? That we have so many games happening at the moment? Bio break. <laughs> Bio break, yeah. But I, I, I hurried up so much I couldn't uh, smoke. Actually, that was my, my secret plan, you know? I, is it possible I cannot read Gimmel's messages? Because the only thing I see is he missed the match and he's back from the treadmill. That's all I saw as well. Ah, okay, okay. So you Maybe. were so friendly to give him some information about build orders. So Maybe it's four, you have four, all of your you can join. shadow ban. <laughs> <laughs> joke, joke. No comedian was saying something <laughs> like shadow ban. What? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> maybe some bot saw that comedian was typing a lot or something. Yeah, maybe comedian was in the know. in the wrong Twitch channel and insulting someone. <laughs> Why you're not playing Age of Sigma? So, Double Night Hunt again, and Sulfur Bed. We had this map in game one, so I guess it's Night Hunt favored. Oh shit, what happens with my game here? Okay, 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 I'm here. Guys, don't worry. I floated in. Uh, it's the same map as the... Ah, as okay. game one. Ah, this is evil, cause it's so open and... Yeah, um... I guess we should have generated again just to get one that wasn't a repeat. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't think of this. I didn't know what map game like I didn't know what map the third one was. Oh shit. Wait, actually Bada and Inga both of a unit capping the same point. <laughs> oh well. Oh my god, look at this triple cap. Yeah. Actually the temple map would have been the most interesting 
to yeah. be honest. I wonder if they'd be willing to do a best of five considering. But anyway, that's kind of. Our now, bad, I'm I guess. No, now I'm feeling bad that they have asked me and I randomly said three because. Yeah, I guess we I... should have generated between one and three, excluding the maps that have been played. Mm -hmm. My bad. My bad. I said five maps. I'll, I'll take the blame on that one. I just hope this will not. Is there end. any point of asking them to quit out of this and just changing the map before they've played enough to determine a win? Nah, I would chat spam them and they would be feeling super annoyed. <laughs> no, no, it is what it is now, unfortunately. Oh look, spectral bolts like bouncing. Yeah, the map they were hovering, I wasn't sure that it would be the one that they'd play until the game started. Oh, Saddam already lost one archer squad. Oh man, this map really favors Night Haunt. This is really not gonna cool. I like that he's going to try to back cap with the killer boss, since killer boss can't really fight Craven Throne Guard anyway. I mean, one idea could be like wasting your hero and replace with a normal infantry squad. Like each team would get an extra archer instead of like the hero. Yeah. Then at least you have more ranged power. I like what he's doing. He's buying time at least. Um. So Estrella and Adila both got the upgrades for their like Lord Gloam and their Craven Throne Guard. And Inga has range and damage for Magister, so standard. I don't know if it's worth getting the range and damage for Magister against double Night Haunt though. She dies so quick. Old boy is about to get wiped in the middle on the night haunt side. Yeah. No, no. And the killer boss died too. So, bad as down to three units of gut rippers, and that's all I see. Oh, and he's building a killer ball. So he has no bolt boys. That's weird. Yeah, they just died. Oh my god. I mean, they cannot build a realmstone safely at all. Yeah, this game is super one-sided. It's and it's over already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a killable out for Bada, so like maybe he'll get a Bastion soon. But yeah, yikes! I'm not sure if the ballista is doing anything useful. Yeah, they might get off a big juicy skewered. Skewered's really good for wiping units in this game. Adila and Astria only have one Ramstone yet, so... Like, if we only look at tech speed, then... Then it's... okay. I... Well, like, Bada and Inga aren't really getting much Realmstone from capping. And they're just stuck in their base, so like, the Slogoths are gonna be too slow, and it'll be too late before they cap VPs, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the, bu the ballista's dead. Yeah, I think this is game. But no. it's, it's my fault for <laughs> letting this map happen. I Why? Didn't know I, 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 I said 3 as well. Uh, I didn't... Yeah, but uh... I said pick a number between 1 and 5. I should have said pick a number between 1 and 3. Since we've played 2 maps. Hmm... Yeah, we can also not negotiate it afterwards. It would be bad manners. Oh man, I'm so sad. This should not have happened.
Or not even a Slogoth. Ah, oh, yeah, there is one Slogoth, yeah. This is great. I mean, it's 400 tickets left, and it's the Realmstone so far is, is safe. So far. Like, Inna is having his units killed in base. <laughs> yeah. Oh, second Slogoth? Yeah, they're the hope. If there is hope. Two Bastions to one, and lots of VPs. I'm concerned about the VPs mainly. Yeah, yeah, but, but uh, Saddam is clever, he's going for the mid VP. Yeah. I mean, there is a chance. Because <laughs> the Ramstone yeah. was not taken out. Yeah, but it wasn't killed, but there also just wasn't one built. Can't even build it. Okay, Inge has Zengos out. Oh no, that's Logos. Oh, this was... This is just the one thing that should not happen right now, because this is now... Comeback time, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah the, the slot guts really can't get wiped. It's quite hard to avoid unit wipes against Night Hunt because they can just spectral bolts to finish stuff off. Mm. Yeah, this faction is just. I mean, I will not be sad if Night Hunt is over nerfed next patch. I mean, that's <laughs> that's truly um, giving everyone. Good vibes, <laughs> if it was the case, <laughs> if they get over nerfed. As long as they eventually get balanced again. I wouldn't want yeah, them over nerfed permanently. Yeah, yeah. But, but first over nerf, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have liked to have seen that done to Zerg in StarCraft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Zergs are uh, now um, kind of balanced, or? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. A Terran kind of keep up now. Oh, oh, look at the Zangos there. Retreat. They're retreat. stunned right now. They can't. Now retreat. they can retreat. Oh my god. They should retreat. Oh god. This was not good. They live? No, could no. Retreat? No, no. One, 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 one Zangos of them squad live. got wiped. Okay. And Hex Wrath, our sword units, they counter. Zengus. Over nerfed for three months? That would be sad. No. <laughs> for three years would be sad. Uh, victory points are down to 130 and there's one slugger. Mm, not the enough to catch game. up. Yeah, yeah, not enough. There's one Zangor. Oh man, why Zangor did I say three? three? Yeah, sorry. Well, I got three on the RNG thing too, so... <laughs> don't feel too bad. <laughs> the random number generator wanted Night Haunt to win. <laughs> yeah, destiny. This maximizes our odds of getting Night Haunt nerfs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So maybe maybe if we deliver this to Frontier, they change their mind. Maybe they actually realize what they have done. These cowards. Uh, good good game. I, I I'll take the blame on this one. Okay. <laughs> then I don't have to take it. Yeah. <laughs> GG. GG. I think the temple map would have been like in favor. Yeah, yeah. Inga and Saddam. Um, I just didn't know. I guess Swamp Tide is the way to go for PM3. <laughs> That's what's <laughs> in the rules. I mean, I can ask them if they're up for a best of five.